So I need a fresh start because my office closet, which I call it an office closet because it's basically an office that has a closet, but the office itself is about the size of a walk-in closet. It's tiny, but I need to make it functional. So to start the new year fresh, I am going to take everything out of it. I am going to paint it, reconfigure some things, but it's bad. I'm going to show you. Now I hope we can still be friends after seeing all of this, but this is what my office looks like. See what I mean? I told you, it's tiny and it's messy and I do a lot of things in here. I make jewelry, I paint, I knit, I quilt. I used to film YouTube videos in here, but I have run out of room. So the type of jewelry making that I did in here before was a lot of metal smithing, a lot of um, soldering, a lot of, I've done some metal etching. I don't need to be doing that inside in a very confined little box. I need better ventilation. So the idea is we're gonna move that gigantic workbench that is taking up some primo real estate and we're gonna move that outside to the workshop where there's a lot of ventilation and I won't die. You know, so that's a plus. And what that means is that this wall is gonna be freed up completely. So I'm going to wallpaper just this one wall, and this is going to be the main wall that's gonna be behind me in all of my YouTube videos. So when you see YouTube videos after this room is complete, this will be the wall that you're looking at. Because I'm gonna set my desk up just right out in front of it, and that's gonna allow me to have a little bit more space for cameras and lights on this side. The possibilities are endless, I'm really excited. Actually, that's a lie. The possibilities are not endless. It's a box, a tiny box. There's basically one way to make this work, and this is the way. So we're gonna do it. So now the first thing we have to do is get everything out of here. The plan is I'm gonna put everything in boxes, like things together, and I'm gonna bring them out of this room. So that means my yarn will be in a box, my fabric will be in a box, jewelry making will be in a box. That way, when I need to put it back in here, I have an idea of how much stuff I have and how many storage solutions I'm gonna need for those items. You can see my floor. Well, partially. But still, that's a big step. Just found fabric, I forgot I got. If you're like me and you get overwhelmed by the magnitude of the task at hand, set yourself a timer. Do as much as you can in that amount of time and then give yourself a break. So what I did was I gave myself one hour in here, one solid hour of cleaning. And what I found is when I realized that my timer was running out, I started cleaning even faster and I've gotten so much accomplished. Let me show you. I mean, look, this floor, which I know it's still a mess in here, but this floor was like layers deep. I've already gone through one whole bag of trash and that bag's almost full. I've gotten so much accomplished. Now, this is a whole other beast and this is a whole other beast, but these are beasts that I can tackle as long as I give myself, you know, a time period. Look at this desk. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's clean. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be able to get so much done in here. I love it. <sighs> so this is not gonna stay here. This is gonna go there. But while we paint, this will go in the middle of the room because I'm not moving this beast out of here. It is huge. I just went to Home Depot and I got some paint and I got some rollers and I got a new light because this light, although it's adorable, is not putting out nearly enough light. Like right now I have the window open, but then I also have a light behind my camera and I have a ring light in front of my lens. So I need something with a lot more power. Now I really need to probably clean out the rest of my room, but I'm excited about my paint. So I kind of want to get started even though this side of my room is not in the best shape. So I'm going to go ahead and to do a little test spot, see what we think of the color before we 
do anything crazy, and then we'll go from there. So the color that I got is actually a bear color from Home Depot, and it's called In The Moment. So we're gonna see how this looks. And I went ahead and got a couple of extra things. Just when I start a new project, sometimes I like to start with some new fun toys. And I did not have, in the past, I've had just like the little cheap plastic um, handheld paint bucket things. Um, but Wooster has this one, Pelican, that like your hand goes in and it just, you don't even have to hold it. It's just attached to your hand, which I really like. And they have this. I had not seen this before. Maybe some of you have. It's the Wooster Shortcut Hook and Hold. So this paintbrush has a little hook on it. So it'll hook on my little paint bucket. So I am very, very excited about this. So now it looks like this. See that? And then you just pull that out and it's got the little hook. And look, it just hooks onto my bucket. And then it's awesome because then I don't lose my brush in my bucket. Okay. I like it. So I'm being lazy and I put my tiny little roller on this giant four foot pole. Um, I have a big roller. I honestly did not like it as much, and so this one was doing a really good job covering. I know it'll take me twice as long to do it with this, but these walls are so tiny that, honestly, this is fine. Well, Corey took the boys out of the house for me so that I could get a little bit of work done, because working on a DIY project, especially that involves, you know, fun stuff, you know, like paint, and tools and things like that that a three-year-old just cannot resist. It's really hard to get anything done. But I have to say, it's amazing how nice it is doing projects like this with a quiet house. This doesn't really happen to me, ever. I really want to get through with this boring painting stuff. I hate painting walls. It is not fun. What I want to do is get to that mural. And I'm going to do a whole nother video on how I'm painting this mural because this is way too much information for one video. I'm actually going to break up this entire video into a series of videos. That way, for those of you who aren't really interested in the details of the organization, like I think I'm going to do the overall video of the DIY projects and getting this craft room put together. And then I'm going to go into another video that's all about the details of how I'm organizing the space and what I'm using to organize this space. And I'm also going to do one whole video devoted to how I'm painting this mural in this room. Because that's going to be a time consuming thing. So we've had a little bit of a change in plans. I took that shelf down so that this was nice and wide and put it show you so that it doubled this space so now I have a workspace here and then I have this shelf under here and then I still have two shelves up there so originally I did this because I decided to take my printer that was I've always had in front of this window and but you could never open this door so I was gonna put the printer inside my closet well then the more Corey and I talked about it. The printer is mainly used for family things and for Owen's schoolwork. And so I just, it takes up so much room. We just decided that we would put it in our game closet. 
but I loved the idea of the sexual workspace. So thankfully my husband is an electrician. So he is putting an outlet in here and then he is going to cut a hole in that little worktop and the cord will go up so that I can plug in my Cricut so my Cricut can live here. I can put my sewing machine over here. Underneath on this shelf, I can have as a charging station because I have all sorts of Kimmer batteries and all sorts of things that I have to charge. So that's all gonna go under there. So I'm so excited. And this space is large enough to where I can put one of the Ikea uh, pegboards on this wall. And so I'm gonna have even more storage. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, so I am filming in my bed. Uh, right now because Corey is doing the electrical work in my office craft room um, and so I have no power in there right now and so there's no light so I came in here for a little peace and quiet and then I got followed so there's a kid right there but I wanted to show you what I'm working on right now I have as I was cleaning out my closet I found a bunch of mat board from back in my college days when I would actually mount my photography um, onto these mat boards and so I have a ton of them and so I thought you know I got these nifty little baskets here and I have some smaller um, like fat quarters of different fun fabrics and one of my biggest problems is the way that I'm storing them right now is just in a box and they're just stacked. So then I end up digging through the box and they become unfolded and then it's a mess and it stresses me out. So I found these adorable baskets and two of them will fit in one cubby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these hold my fat quarters of um, a fabric. So in order to keep them neat, I thought I would cut my mat board into rectangles to fold the fabric over so that they'll sit upright in this, and then therefore I can just look through and find exactly the one that I want. And because it's nice and thick and sturdy, it'll hold up to the weight of the fabric. So I'm gonna work on these and measure them out, and then I can fold up my fabrics, and they're all gonna be so pretty, and it's gonna make me happy. And hopefully it stays this way. That's what I'm working on right now is if you watch the home edit, they always talk about you need a system. Well, that has been my biggest issue in the past is even when I've gotten my craft room um, kind of organized, it's it's always been kind of a, it's always been a mixture of things and it's never had a system. Like I need things to have specific places that they go and I need them to go to back to those places. And I need it to be pretty quick and easy, otherwise things tend to pile up. And then I get overwhelmed, and then it becomes almost like an episode of Hoarders where it's like I've got stacks of things that I need to go through. Because I'm one of those types of people that I like things organized, I really do. But I'm a very messy person, very messy. And the reason I'm messy is because I have, it's like I have blinders on, and if I don't have time to make something perfect, then I put it off. And that's where the stacks start to happen. And I just, I, that's just the way that my brain works. And it's not great, and I don't love it. And for anyone who doesn't deal with this and who's a naturally neat person, you might think, well, that's just laziness. You just need to make yourself do it. Um, and there's just a disconnect in my brain. It's just the way that I am. So it's also probably the part of my brain that makes me extra creative. So there's that. I figured out if I do five and a half by four and a half, that is going to give me way less waste and more of these. So um, I went ahead and cut these out. So they're really, I mean like if I bend this, it'll break. But the five and a half inches is still gonna be plenty of room for that to stick up just enough. Because really, when the fabric is folded over it, that's gonna give it even more height. So that's how these are. So I'm gonna have to cut a bunch more because I have a whole lot of fabric. I have a little bit of a fabric problem. Um, well, it's beyond a fabric problem. I have a, um, uh, what would you call it? I have a, I have a crafting problem. 
So whether it's notebooks or pens or fabric or anything pretty, I tend to collect it. It's, it's a problem. It is a problem. But it's a beautiful problem, but it's still a problem. For example, the other day, I came home with this pack of pens. They're so beautiful. Look at all the colors. Aren't they great? And Corey said, wait, why did you get more pens? And I said, because pens. <laughs> That's the only excuse I had. Because pens, like, why would you not get more pens? They have beautiful colors. They needed me to buy them. I mean, does anybody else have this problem? Am I alone? Comment below and let me know I'm not alone in this addiction of all things, craft supplies and office supplies. All right, so I'm just gonna take the fold that it's already, I had them all folded like this, but all I'm gonna do now is take these and open it up and then just slide my little mat board in here and then fold this down and then fold this over and then you'll see it now has a nice clean shape and I can stack it up in my basket and it'll stand up. Goo goo gaga. Yes. yes. You're not a baby. I know, man. You're a baby? Yeah. I didn't know you were a baby. Goo goo gaga. Yeah. Okay, so here is what I have finished so far. I still have this many cut mat boards and I need to cut some more. This is gonna hold so much. I mean, and I can even like press it down even farther. I can really pack it in. But look how beautiful it is. Oh, isn't that so satisfying? I love it. This makes me so happy. So I have um, three more of these and a bunch more mat board. That should cover my fat quarters and my half yards. So, then I have some full-size mat boards that I'm gonna be using for yard and up. And those are gonna go in. I actually have some baskets that are like these, but they're larger. So, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have everything organized. Daddy's hand. All right, Terry, you ready? Look at these good handymen I've got. Okay, you turn it. <laughs> turn it. You turn <laughs> the big came out. You turn daddy's wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good helper. Can you say give thumbs up? Give us up. Say don't forget to subscribe. Bye. And this is off. Daddy's an electrician. I don't have a three-year-old working on live voltage. <laughs> Thank you, All Jack. right. Thanks, helper guys. Good job. Now we got to clean up our mess. So these plastic bins are great, but they're not exactly square, if you will. The plastic is somewhat deformed, so uh, don't. If you're a perfectionist, something like that, um, you're gonna drive yourself nuts. Uh, you have a little bit of play in here when you're actually 
putting these up. So you can go up or down. But since these are keyholes, uh, what you want to do is, uh, however high that you want this, go ahead and mount the top one, drop it on, push the bottom one up against it, mark your holes, mount the bottom one, and then since they're keyholes, you have to go from the top and then slide it down to the keyhole. Go ahead and solidly mount the bottom one and then take the top one and slip it in the top. So start at the top, go to the bottom, mount the bottom, go back to the top. So my sweet hubby put these little bins up on the wall, which I'm really excited about. And these are so cheap. I got them at Harbor Freight and they were a fraction of the ones that I found at other hardware stores. So definitely look into these. I know they're a little bit warped on the bottom, but I have a feeling that once I kind of put something with a little weight in there, it'll kind of flatten out a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me. Right now, my hubby is putting together my Calyx system from Ikea because he loves me so much. Um, so I don't have to get on the floor and put those things together. So he's doing that. So I got two of the four square little cubbies. And then I found these legs on Amazon. And we're going to actually attach these to the bottom. So it looks more like a piece of furniture as opposed to just a cubby flat on the ground. Uh, plus, I'm going to have a lot of my yarn in there and I don't really want that flat on the ground. We do have dogs, so I don't really want, you know, dog hair mixing in with yarn. It's not a good thing. So I'll link all of this stuff in the description below so that you guys, if you're interested, you can uh, check it out. Probably one on the substantial portion, yeah. which is out there. Now this is this is a solid edge, like all the way around, but it's hollow in the middle. Okay. So this is the bottom. Yes, and pile it. You know, we need to pile with the holes first. Okay. Yeah, this is the this is the bottom, and this is the back. Okay. I love the gold. Okay. straps on it. We'll have to use straps instead of the IKEA system because of the baseboard. This doesn't sit flush to the wall. So. Well and I'm, the rug's gonna move. Yep. I love it. Cool. Good morning. I um, was able to sleep in this morning which was so nice. Corey took Jack and took him outside to play because Jack has been waking up between 5 30 and 6 every morning and it is I'm not a morning person I'm a night owl so and he used to be the same way and all of a sudden spring break happened and he switched for some reason but he let me sleep in and then I got to take a shower so excuse the wet hair but I'm very happy so I am putting things back together it looks like complete madness behind me because well it is and I am working right now. You're sitting in my Calyx system. And one of the things that I bought were like the giant X inserts. These things. And I am going to be using these to store my yarn. So I got four. Yeah, four of these, and that'll take care of some of my yarn. I have a lot of yarn. Um, and then I have some baskets that I can use to put the rest of the yarn in if I need to. And I can also donate some yarn if I need to, because it gets, anytime it gets cool, I get excited about the idea of cooler weather, and that's when I like to knit. And so every year I head to the uh, local little yarn shop here and buy my yarn and get all excited about a project that sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't. Just depends on how busy I am. Uh, well, this is gonna go very quickly. Let me show you. These look good. 
So see that? And then I'm going to just be able to put my yarn in the little cubbies. So I'm going to work on that. All right, so they're in. Still got to get a blank plate for that. I love them. They look so good. So the main reason I wanted this Calyx system was these little inserts because as soon as I saw them, I was like, this is perfect for yarn. So I'm so excited. I'm going to be able to organize all of my yarn in these little cubbies. So we got all of these drawers put on the wall, which you'll notice that there are some missing right here. And that's because I'm starting to fill them. So I have one unit filled, five more to go. Okay, so this is my first time filming with this as my backdrop. The mural is complete. Um, and for those of you who would like to know more about the mural and the whole process and how I did that, I'll link it up here. I think I pointed to the correct side. Yeah, it's up here. Anyway, I've got a few of the drawers out of that little cabinet on the wall and these are going to be holding all of my beads because I have a lot of beads. So I have trays and trays of beads and findings and all sorts of things that I need to sort and organize. I'm actually going to use these drawers to hold different art supplies. So when you have a tiny space like this, you have to get things up on the walls. There's no other choice. I mean, we're limited real estate here. With this space too, I wanted to have a variety of finishes. I didn't want to just have all white, although white is great for lighting. It just wasn't what I was going for. I also didn't want to have the exact same type of furniture. Um, I did not want to have just giant walls full of things. I just, I get really claustrophobic. And although I understand for people that do a lot of, especially paper crafts um, and stamping and that type of thing, you really need every single one of those cubbies. And I get that, but I, I get really claustrophobic. And this room, and if this were a bigger room, that might be you know, an option, but this is a tiny space and I need it to not feel like it's coming in on me. So those drawers are perfect. They're back on the wall, but it's going to free up so much space. And I just pull out a drawer or a collection of drawers whenever I'm ready to make jewelry. If any of you have a craft room, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments, especially if you've got a channel, let me know that you have a craft room. So I can head to your channel and check it out. I love, love, love watching craft room tours. Like it's, it's kind of my Zen moment. It's a little ASMR for me. I, I mean, I can just sit there and watch someone open drawers and show me all of their stuff. So if you have a craft room, please, 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 please tell me in the comments below and I will come find you and check it out. Also, this is a great time to say, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. You know, we're, we're all we're all working hard to to put out good content, and I'm new to this. I get it. My content is not where it needs to be. I'm this. I am learning. I am brand new to all of this, but I hope that you will join me on this journey of figuring this whole thing out. If you have some tips, I'd also love that below. But as always, be kind. Well, I finally filled it. This thing took me all day long. It took me forever to sort through all of my beads, but it is done. And there are only two empty drawers in this entire thing. Actually, that's not true. There's two small empty drawers and two of the long skinny drawers at the bottom, but I'll be filling those pretty quickly. Can you believe that? That is, <laughs> that's a lot of beads, but I'm so excited to have it all in here because now anytime I want to design, I can just pull out the beads that I need and put them on my bead board and start designing. So this is finished. I've got a few more things that I need to do tomorrow to finish this up 
and then this room will be complete and I will show you the finished product. So I am maximizing every inch of space that I have in this craft room. So I actually moved my, um, I don't know if it's Beasley or Bisley. I'm gonna say Beasley, even though I think that would be EA. Bisley, we'll call it Bisley. Um, <laughs> I love these drawers, I've had them forever. I actually got these when I used to work at the Pottery Barn outlet and got a great deal on them. Actually, the little bottom handle was gone and that's why it was in the outlet. But I just put things in that bottom drawer that I don't need to get to all the time. These drawers though, and they still sell them, are so great and they keep everything so nice and organized. And the little inserts, so these are actually the little bead storage bins that they have at Michael's. And they, I just take the, the lid off of them and they fit perfectly in these drawers and then you can sort everything out. So if you are in the market for some great storage, highly recommend. So here she is. All complete, well, for the most part. There's a couple of little things that I still need to do. Like I've got to finish painting that windowsill and actually change out those blinds. But look how great she looks. And I'm so excited about this extra workspace. That is just gonna be really, really helpful with such a tiny space. I've got my sewing machine and thread here and then all of my little rulers here. And this is actually my iron mat and then there's my cutting mat. And this cool little thing, that's actually a grocery bag holder, like the plastic grocery bag holders. I got it from Ikea for really, really cheap, but it was perfect for holding my vinyl. And there's my Cricut. And then I have my Cricut mats hung back here. And then all of these drawers I'm actually saving because I've started making stickers. So I'm saving these for inventory for stickers. And I've got my photography stuff up top. And then I have photography workshop stuff in that box, painting stuff in that box. And then back here I have completed jewelry projects for shows. These drawers have a whole bunch of stuff in it. I'm gonna go and give a whole detailed tour soon, but just kinda wanted to show you guys. Oh, and here's all of my work stuff. So all of my packaging for my jewelry, all of my business stuff for my photography. And then I've got more storage under there. And I'm still filling this board. I still have quite a bit of jewelry stuff to put in here, but I had enough in there to show you all. And there's the finished mural. Hope you guys enjoyed my craft room makeover. Ooh, this one was a lot of work, but I'm so excited to have the space and I cannot wait to film all new projects in here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a great time. You guys, don't forget to have a little me time. Get out there and enjoy yourselves, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.